Hello and welcome to a delightful part of Spain. We're here by the Mediterranean at the Estadio de la Ceramica. I'm Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It is Villarreal facing Atalanta. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. The Villarreal starting 11. Sergio Asenjo is the man between the posts. Danny Parejo starts with Francis Coquelin in the centre of midfield. And the main forward is Paco Alcácer. The starting 11 for Atalanta. I'll tell you what, you don't see this formation every day of the week. No, I mean, it looks very attack-minded with the three up front. The three in midfield supplying the width as well, but I'm a little bit worried about the three centre-backs. Will they get exposed in the wide areas? Moy Gomez. And Alcázar. Well, the attack looks promising. Coquelin. Torres on the ball. Pervis Estupiñan. Parejo. Moy Gomez. And he takes it on. Well, marginally wide. So, so close. Well, that was the chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. Alcantar. Well, not covering himself in glory defensively. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Martin Deron. And it's with Ilicic. Hans Hatterbor. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Martin Deron. Freiler in possession. Duvan Zapata. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Not showing good defensive judgment. Martin Deron. Here's Malinowski. Real chance. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, we'll see it again here. If you ball watch against the 1-2, this is what happens. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish.
Well, he can't let the frustrations get the better of him, Derek. His players need help here. One nil then. Gol del Atalanta con el 18 Malinowski. Pau Torres. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Alcacer. High quality defending. Not a pass that lacks quality. Rigueros. And here's Gerard Moreno. Determined defending. And a throw in it's going to be. Alcacer going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Good pressure to win the ball back. Parejo and space here on the flank will he find the net and he's done it Parate again a magnificent game unfolding well here it is again the through ball is perfectly timed it causes havoc and when he gets through to the keeper he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think a lovely finish Well, the happy times are back. The coach is more than delighted by his team's response. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Gozens. Well, they couldn't do anything positive with the cross. Parejo. Bad pass. Paco Alcata. Good movement. Giving the ball away. Well, it's a poor tackle. In the right place to cut out the pass. No well, space for them here. And a very good challenge. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Well, Derek, they're not happy. Ref is taking the brunt of this. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, he was influential in the first half, Paco Alcacer. Lee, interested to get your judgment. Well, he stepped up to the plate to get that goal to put his team on equal terms. Can he produce a winner in this second half? Let's find out. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Untidy in possession. Plenty of options. He'll try his luck here. When you look at those stats, Derek, it tells a story all of its own. They haven't created enough chances. 
The forwards have been off the game as well. They haven't really utilised the wide areas for me, but they should go on and win the game, to be honest. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Under pressure here. And a throw in forthcoming. Moreno. And here's Alcacer. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back of the net. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Substitution time it is. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Martin De Roon. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. Mano Trigueros. Effective looking pass. And played towards the near post. And clears the danger. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. The goal kick is the outcome. <laughs> Substitution time it is here. Martin De Roon, and the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And the referee has caught up with him following his indiscretion earlier. Atalanta enjoying the bulk of possession here. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Opportunity in the wide area. And crossing towards the far post. Well, the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure.
Capu. Raul Albiol. Well, it's a cracking atmosphere in here. The players just need to harness that energy from the crowd to see them through in this game. This could finish it. Surely. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, let's take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away. First time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Mario Pasalic. It's with Zapata. Oh, that's a fine pass. Can he get one back? Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And only two minutes remaining here. Mele. Mario Pasalic. On to Malinowski. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Must score! They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man. Left him stranded. And the pressure comes as he knew it would. But it's the strength that impresses me. It's a great goal in the end. Well, you can see the frustration on that touchline. He knows they've switched off and let them back in here. Gol del Atalanta con el 91, Dubán. And that's it for tonight. Full time and an encouraging start for them. Three points from their initial fixture lead. Yeah, really, really strong start. That's what you need. But with five games to go, very important you stay in the now. One game at a time, Derek. Bit of a cliche. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance. Ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, nine out of ten.